Hey, welcome to Pack Show. This is Bubal. In this video, we're going to talk about the navigation as well as the deep links in our applications. So we know we have a four tabs: one is a lender, borrower, turn notification, and settings page. And also we have this is a login page uh, by entering the phone number to, uh, by doing the continue it will take you to the OTP it says to be designed so but don't bother about it at the moment and clicking on the register it will take you to the registration page like so on and so forth it typically has a two option like a transaction and login by clicking the transaction it will be showing the transaction or list and by clicking on it it will go to the transaction detail page and whereas the same here the borrower borrower by clicking on the transaction it will give the borrower transaction Clicking on it, it will go to the transaction detail as well. So, if you look at these two, it will be uh, it will be having the same screen, but uh, the data is different. That's why we created something like a buy a shared. Uh, it will be having these two screens: one is a transaction detail as well as a transaction list. So, in the transaction list, we are taking a one parameter like a param. Uh, most of our subviews will be taking the param as a parameters. It has a dictionary. Okay, the key is a string, as also a value, as also a string. By default, this list is empty. During the initialization, we are checking the param as a source. If the source is equal to render, lender, then we are going ahead and fetching this lender information, which is like uh, hundreds of information we just appending with some random details and uh, it's giving that list and then we are updating this the list here okay but it's not a lender then we are assuming it's a borrower and we are just updating this list with this borrower information and then we are rendering this list okay as simple as that when you go to the transaction details which is nothing but this page this page it tags it also taking the param so again a dictionary and uh, in the body we are checking this param as a data or not if it has a data we are just taking the data and converting it into the by transaction self in the form of by JSON decoder. Decode is a kind of helper method. It will do the JSON encoding decoding, like converting the uh, string to object and the object to string, vice versa. Okay. So here we are taking the same string and converting it to the object. And that object is available. We just rendering this data. So why are we doing like this? Is like uh, we have a two option to enter this page. One is by clicking on this list. We are we can go to this the specific detail page also we have another option is we are supposed to go through the deep links as i shown you before every pages designed here can be invoked separately through the deep link the deep link configurations are done here so by executing this deep link like find info lender transaction details by providing these names like a name as this one id detail as well as amount and transaction details with this a specific value as a query parameter we can invoke this page separately as well so let me show you how i did this by clicking by providing all this information i can able to come here and show this in details okay so that's why we are doing this way so each tab will be having the navigation stack that will help you to add or remove the view on top of this specific view navigation stacks state will be maintained through the navigation path okay for lender i have a lender nav path for borrower as uh, borrower nav path, notification as notification nav path, and setting as a setting nav path. And uh, when you click on the note login screen, login screen also having a different nav path, which we call as a auth nav path. So each nav path will be having a separate uh, object to maintain its state so when i go to the dashboard view you could have seen that information is configured here i'm taking the environment object as a name manager so which is going to be the by navigation manager and then i'm creating the name stack in the tab view i'm creating the name stack and taking out the lender name path i'm just binding that value into the path so that whenever any all any views push into the specific uh, navigation stack that uh, specific views information will be updated with this path okay so that i can able to maintain the path at the same way if in some path into this nav path this navigation stack will respond it accordingly because it's a two-way binding right you could see the dollar sign here so it's a two-way binding any navigation happen through here will be append that value any value appended there will be automatically in to it okay in this i'm just having the navigation destination here here i can decide if where we supposed to go for example if you go to the pi lender dashboard two buttons in it right one is a transaction 
button another one is a login button the transaction button i'm taking the navigation manager router and taking a lender nav path and appending the value with the pi nav information so before that i just made one decision in order to make my application very stronger uh, and respond to the same protocol okay for that specific reason i'm creating something called as a nav info object want to navigate through my application you need to create the nav info object with the specific parameter and append that specific object as part of the navigation path for link also take that object and convert that object into the navigation info object and then pass it through the link so that i have a one object to respond at with if you look at the name info it has a, a simple para two parameters one is a router id and another is a dictionary of string and string so now route id can be one of these information like uh, if you want to go to a sign in page it says give sign in otp for otp is this one law for sign up this one in case of lender transaction uh, like with this page you just have to provide this for borrow a transaction you have to give this name and for transaction details it will be the same name for both lender as well as a borrower okay and dictionary can be having the value you're supposed to part to the, that specific page by clicking the button i just need to tell to the system that i'm just need to navigate to that lender transaction and then that uh, dictionary is null i don't want to pass any detail to the lender transaction because this page know how to or differentiate this and uh, get the detail out of it okay so i'm passing it as a null whereas uh, in the case of login it is a different flow i don't need to depend on the navigation stack here because i just want to invoke the new navigation uh, model right uh, for that reason i'm just creating the show sheet street here and then i'm toggling the state is equal to true or false based on this button click if a button click it i'm making the true and then there is something less a full cover uh, that will help me to create a a model like uh, my render my information in the full screen mode this is a full screen mode i'm rendering the pi login view on top of it okay if it's a true then the pi login will be shown on the top okay again it will take a navigation manager and uh, this time this navigation stack also having one navigation stack it is internally binded with auth nav path again it's a two-way binding and the moment the user clicks on a continue button this auth new path will be appended with the route id of otp and the dictionary at the moment is null in case if i want to pass the value whatever the value is entered yet here uh, i just want to pass it to the page means i can able to do it by doing so by phone number like phone and i can pass the value whatever the value is entered here i just can pass it here one two three four five six seven eight so that i can in the in the word pph i just need to look out this parameter and can get the value out of it okay as simple as that uh, in the case of registration i'm just uh, invoking this deep i'm creating the pi navy info by using the uh, deep link as sign up and uh, going there so here i'm just updating my deep link it doesn't mean so uh, this is the system is automatically go there okay somehow you need to tell the system if route id is this one go to the specific page right that identification has been configured here by using the navigation destination so it has to be uh, within the navigation stack i'm just specifying the navigation destination i'm taking the value out of here i will be getting the name info and taking the route id and converting it into the case uh, and then I'm checking if it's a OTP, go to the OTP screen, if I sign up, I go to the registration, otherwise it will go to the OTP view screen itself. That's how it has been configured. Uh, right now you would have understand how it works. So coming back to here, here I said that go to the lender transactions, right? So somehow I need to tell to the system if route ID is a lender transaction, where it's supposed to go, okay? So that information, I'm specifying it here. Uh, like a navigation destination which is uh, which has been configured on top of this uh, pi lender dashboard in the pi info out of it is a route id is equal to lender transaction data uh, invoking pi transaction list view as i mentioned before uh, it takes a parameter right here i'm specifying source as lender so source as a lender so that it will come to know that he they are in fact invoking the transaction list 
view by saying the source is slender so i need to face the source information okay so whereas the same way i configure the by borrow dashboard as well which is in the different model at the moment which is in the pipe borrower model so the dashboard of this one it also takes a router here i'm taking the borrow navigation path i'm creating the borrow transaction uh, route id by using the name info i'm just passing up appending that value into the borrow name id for uh, login the same case I'm, let's go to the dash view i'm creating the another navigation stack for a borrower and just taking that borrow name path I'm just passing it here with, with the two-way binding. I'm just rendering this view with the by borrow dashboard. If it's a borrower transaction, I'm just invoking the same by uh, transaction list view. But here, if you look at the parameter, it says a source as a borrower. So it's internally, it goes here and uh, check the source. If a lender, we are going to get the lender transaction. If it's a borrower, we're going to get the borrower transaction out of it and the render that specific list in the moment you click on this list how this page just gets rendered so that's a very interesting part i uh, just go into the pi transaction list view last time you are getting through the system by updating the navigation path whereas here i'm just creating the navigation link where i'm passing the value typically in all the example just taking this object as it is and passing it there right but if you look at here it's i'm doing a little different i'm taking this navigate transaction and converting the transaction into the string and then i'm taking the params i'm constructing the param dictionary by saying that the data has this specific data now i have a dictionary this detailed dictionary by using the detailed dictionary i'm creating the by navigation info object i'm saying that i just want to go to the transaction detail screen with this information like a detailed params okay so what will happen is uh, i'm just creating the navigation link here the moment the user clicks on the navigation link the action will be forwarded to here because i don't have any destinations navigation destination specified here right so uh, who is this parent the parent is all about this one right this is a parent so the detail page will come here so taking the dictionary and pass it to uh, by transaction details so that this specific detail will begin to get rendered successfully so this is how it works for here the same code copy paste code almost here and go to the targets go to the info and there is something let's say url types uh, here by by clicking the plus button you can able to do the steep linking and here you specify the identifier which is nothing but the identifier of this specific application uh, this specific target as identifier of this one right by um, com.pyabstudio.pyfinance okay this is the one you're supposed to give, give it here and uh, the url schema is equal to five finance uh, that's why my all my deep links will be having the prefix of five finance and that's it once the user clicks on it and opening the applications uh, the, it has to come here here is where i handle all this deep links operations by clicking on open url i'm taking this url so this is how my deep line could be if schema is not equal to five in then i have to return it here otherwise i'm taking the host host would be one of the lender or borrower or notification or settings i'm taking that host i'm just mapping it with the raw value of pi tab info so pi tab info would be like on either one of this uh, one of this link has to be my host link uh, if it matches one of things then it will come here otherwise uh, i'm not handling the deep link anymore i'm taking out that uh, enum value and setting it here if you are sending the lender then the this will be set here by default if it's a borrower the this deep link will be set here and if it's a notification this one and uh, settings means this one okay so active tab will be associated with uh, uh, this tab right so automatically it will toggle that one uh, and uh, in case i have a path component which is nothing but this way like render like transaction details which is nothing the path components more than two then the first one will be considered as a tab and the second one will be the subsequent speech right i'm taking out the last component which is nothing but uh, transaction details or something i'm creating the navigation info out of it by using the last component and taking the query parameters and converting into the dictionary by using this value again i'm taking that uh, dictionary and converting into the string and putting the string in the form of uh, navigation info will take the uh, dictionary right so i'm putting it as a data and whatever the query parameter in case if you're sending the query parameters 
like this like name transaction diction date something i'm just taking that uh, values and converting into the dictionary and uh, then i'm kind of taking the dictionary and converting into the string and putting it as part of data yeah okay now my navigation info is ready but i need to understand where i need to inject the navigation info right the transaction details can be comes from lender borrower transaction notification settings right so for that reason i'm just checking my main tab my my main tab is a lender i'm taking the lender navigation back up under this up under up and this value in it if it's a borrower i'm taking the borrower nav tab and up on the navigation thing so on and so forth okay this is how my um, deep links works here i hope you would have understand this concept in case if you guys have any question please feel free to put in the comment section i'll try to answer this otherwise thank you so much for watching the video please do share with your friends thank you bye bye jay babe